So now we're going to talk about a new notation using rational exponents. And remember, in the math world, rational means a fraction. So the rule is, if I have the nth root of a to the m, this is the radical notation. I have the radical symbol. n is my index. a is the radicand. And m is the power. I can rewrite that with a rational exponent. The radicand becomes the base. The power becomes the numerator of the fractional, fractional, rational exponent. And the index becomes the denominator of that fractional exponent. So one of the things you'll be asked to do is just to switch between the two notations. Do you understand what pieces go where? So if I look at the square root of b cubed, to write that in a rational exponent notation, b is my base, and its power, that 3 is the numerator, and the denominator is the index. And remember, if an index isn't written, it's an understood 2. For g to the fifth root of g, to write that with a fractional exponent, it is g to the, so 5 is the index, so that will be playing the denominator role. And the numerator is the power of g. And again, when 1 isn't written, it's an understood 1. So the fifth root of g is the same thing as g to the 1 fifth. So just to show you two numeric examples, if I have 16 to the 3 halves power, I'm not sure what that is, just looking at it. Instead, I need to convert it to rational exponents. So I'm going to go the other way. I'm going to go to, sorry, radical notation. 16 is my radicand. Its power is a 3. And the index is 2. Now, 16 cubed, I don't know how to figure that without a calculator. So instead, what I'm going to do is switch the order of my powers. And I'm going to do the square root of 16 first, and then cube that answer, because that I can do in my head. So the square root of 16 is 4, and 4 cubed is 64 for my final answer. Be very careful about your neatness when doing these. Notice how I've written my three halves in a little bit smaller font, and I've also moved it up so that it looks like a superscript. Don't let it drop down so that it looks like you're really multiplying 16 times three halves. You're not going to get the same answer. One more numeric example. I think I can squeeze it in. 8 to the 5 thirds. If I rewrite that with a fractional exponent, with a radical, I'm saying that completely wrong, 8. I need to raise that to the fifth power, and I need to take the cubed root. I'll do the cubed root first, and then raise that to the fifth power. The cubed root of 8 is 2. 2 to the fifth is 32.